Hey guys, it's Kandaze and welcome to ECCI Kids. I hope you're doing well. I hope you've had one fantastic week. I hope school has been good. I hope your weekend has been good. And as I like to say, your weekend is about to get even better. So first things first, we are going to have a craft activity, then followed by an object lesson with Maurice. So I hope you have your pens and pencils ready and welcome to the latest episode of Can's Kitchen. That is right for our craft activity today. We will be doing some cooking and we're going to be doing some pancakes. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to show you what I love to do to make my pancakes just, you know what I'm talking about. So basically, what I actually really love to do is spice my pancakes. So especially now it's autumn, I always put a bit of nutmeg and a bit of cinnamon. So that honestly just gives you the extra flavour with your pancakes, I'm telling you now guys, okay? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, or whenever you happen to be looking at this video. I hope that you and your loved ones are all in the best of health, and everybody it is feeling good. If not, we can pray for you. That said, during this lockdown period, have you got into any particular habits like reading books? Maybe you read books before. Maybe you've read some of the books that you see coming up on the screen. I've certainly read a few. I like The Hobbit, it's a lovely book. Alice in Wonderland? Can be a bit heavy, but yeah, it's not right. But then maybe you're reading the book and you think to yourself, Ooh, well, I just want to know how it ends. Let me look at the back or look at the pre lock Get an idea what the book is about. And then you just don't bother getting to the end. <laughs> do you know, we adults do the same thing too. I once tried, I'll say, tried to read a book called War and Peace. And the hard copy version of this book is 1,225 pages long. I've got about to the 200th page and I've said, oh, I can't read anymore. So let me go and look at the back and see how these things end. And then, you know, I can say that I've read it. Good thing it wasn't for a book report or anything like that. But I never did finish that book. So I thought though, I want to know how the ends, because the back didn't really give me the idea of how this book went. So I thought, well, I'll get the film and see how this thing goes. And you know something? I never got to the end of that too. But we all, adults and children, we'd like to know how things are going to go. We want to know what's the ending going to be like. And so perhaps... God wants us to know the beginning from the end too. And there's a book in the Bible called Revelations that actually tells us about end times, how things are going to end. And thankfully, it says in the end, 
there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth and we his children if you are a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ are going to go be with him forever there God's got a good plan for me he's got a good plan for you if we trust him so in the end because that's one of his names that he is the beginning and the end Alpha and Omega he knows how things start and thankfully he knows how things will end he's got a wonderful plan for me and for you if we want to take part in that plan I certainly hope that you do Wow, Maurice, thank you for that awesome object lesson. I hope you guys got something amazing from it. I thought it was only me who normally doesn't finish my books. But hey, we all struggle with the same thing. But yeah, I hope you guys took something from that. And now we are going to go into a time of worship. So clear some space out in your room and let's give some time to praise God. Talani, and this week I'm going to be reading you your message. So let's go. Making up trivia questions about movies and books, you can ask so many different questions. For example, questions about the actors who were in the movies, like Mark Hamill, who played Luke Skywalker in Star Wars. You can ask which planet he grew up on, the planet Tatooine, and where and how he escaped from that planet in his big, big, big spaceship called the Millennium Falcon. But there are certain questions that we can't ask out of politeness. For example, who's Luke's father? What happens when Luke faces Darth Vader? What happens at the end of Return of the Last Jedi? And we can't ask these questions because for people who may not have seen the movie, it could spoil the ending and that wouldn't be very kind. Also don't tell someone who's reading a book series how the series ends. It's better to experience things on your own. Let the story unfold. It's no fun to spoil the ending. On the other hand, there are people who may want to spoil the movie or book for themselves, who will flip to the last page of the book just to find out what happens, or haven't seen a movie, but will look up and see what happens in it. Some people even read and post spoilers about TV shows that haven't even aired yet. Why do we like finding out the ending? Sometimes people are nosy. Sometimes people just can't wait to figure out what the ending is. Sometimes people want to avoid it if it's gonna be a really sad, upsetting ending. And sometimes people just like to have peace, knowing that at the end, all is good. This reason is a good explanation for the last book of the Bible, Revelation. It's the end of our story. It's the end of the history of the earth itself. It tells us that Jesus' people will face persecution. It tells us there will be judgment and destruction for all who do not believe in Jesus. And then it tells us something wonderful that Jesus is going to do for us. I'm now going to read Revelation, verse 21, chapter 1 to 7. I have my Bible, so let's go. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared and the sea had vanished. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared and ready, like a bride dressed to meet her husband. I heard a loud voice speaking from the throne. Now God's home is with human beings. He will live with them and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and he will be their God. He will wipe away all the tears from their eyes. There will be no more death 
no more grief or crying or pain. The old things have disappeared. Then the one who sits on the throne said, And now I make all things new. He also said to me, Write this, because these words are true and can be trusted. And he said, It is done. I am the first and the last, the beginning and the end. To anyone who is thirsty, I will give the right to drink from the spring of the water of life without paying for it. Those who win the victory will receive this from me. I will be their, my, their God and they will be my children. But cowards, traitors, perverts, murderers, the immoral, those who practice magic, those who worship idols and all liars, the place for them is the lake burning with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Now, most of Revelation is a bit on the frightening side. We read about prophecies of judgment, the persecution of Christians, about earthquakes and storms, about God ending the world as we know it. But all the sadness comes to an end when Jesus reveals the new heaven and earth he is preparing for us. God gave us Revelation so we would not be afraid of anything. No matter how bad it gets, it will get better, gloriously better. Jesus is preparing a place for us. And if we believe in him, we will live forever in that paradise. Revelation is a fitting end to the Bible. The story began with the creation and the fall of man. The story changed when Jesus became our savior. The story ends with Jesus saving us taking us away from this world of sin and placing us in a new world. There will be no tears, no sadness, no sickness and no death in this new world. Heaven will be lit with the glory of God and we will spend eternity worshipping him. Revelation is also a new beginning. It's the start of a story that will never end. We will be reunited with Jesus and we will live in the place he's preparing for us. God wants us to know what is coming. He wants to spare us from judgment and he wants to give us a new life. New life can only be had if we believe in Jesus. If you've never made the commitment to receive Jesus in your heart, do it today. Start a new adventure of your own and you'll be prepared for whatever this life brings. What an amazing word. Well guys, we've actually come to the end of our service today. I know it's a shame. I hope you have really enjoyed joining us. And if you liked it like I did, make sure to subscribe at ECCI Kids. And also make sure to tag our Facebook page and follow our Facebook page at ECCI Kids. So make sure to catch you in next week's service. Take care guys. Bye.